Getting big, time to rain on this Flower in bloom, can remain a kid It's on Flavor Lip <laughs> Hey, what is going on guys? And in this video I'm going to show you all how to do that cinematic camera shake which just looks sick as fuck. You know the little camera wobble that you see in all those Call of Duty titles, those fucking edits and shit like that? Now I'm going to show you how to do that. It is all done with a plugin called Sapphire. It's very easy to use. I'll show you how to use it in the video. Now there is a link below where you can get this plugin. There is a free version and a bought version. Now I don't recommend getting the free version because it is sort of stealing in a way and these guys have put a lot of effort in to make this work and run smoothly on a third party program. So show them some love, buy the fucking program, it's pretty fucking cheap, it's not much, so don't be a cunt. Now, so you want to drag in your clip, and now I do have a pre-prepared clip here, sort of a cinematic thing to show you what it all looks like when it's all brought together. We will just cut this here, because we actually we will not cut that there. We will we will cut it here, we don't really want too much of this because it's a pain. So if we click in the event, event, effect section here and we go down to third party here, you will see S shake if you installed it correctly. Just hit OK on it. Now you won't have this preset here, but just click on um, the default, change the name of it. Uh, cinematic camera shakes, shakes felt weird. Yeah, anyway, just, <laughs> I was rushing Lee Miller, I didn't spell check. So just um, uh, copy these, copy this preset down and it will look exactly the fucking same as mine. I will show you what it looks like without any of this. So if we just play it and you see it looks nice, it's pretty, it's pretty smooth. I mean, but yeah, smooth's not really what we're looking for. We're looking for a sort of violent shake to make it look sick as fuck. And this is what is going to give it to us. Now I'm just going to disable all of my color correction shit because it's going to run smoother on the program. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks pretty fucking good. It sort of feels like you're an actual soldier. It's first person, you're actually there. And yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. So we can just remove that now. We don't need it anymore. Well. I don't need it. You still need it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to re-enable all of this shit here because I will show you what the little clip I have together is. Uh, actually, I will show you what it looks like without all of the effects first. So yeah. Getting big, time to rain on this. Flower in bloom, can remain a kid. It's on flavor lip. Now, as you can see, it already looks pretty fucking sick because I've used Velocity here. I will leave a link in the video to a... In the video? I will leave a link in the description where you can actually, um... Learn how to use Velocity properly. I do have another video on it, so you can watch that. Now, you can add some particle effects. Now, if you want these particle effects, or you really just have to type it on YouTube as... Uh, old film look effect or something like that. And it should come up no problem. Now we can re-enable the effects and I will show you what it looks like now. Getting big, time to rain on this. Flower in bloom, can remain a kid. It's on flavor lips. Uh, as you can see, it looks pretty fucking sick. It does take a bit of time to sort of sync everything up to a song, but you will need a song or it will not look good, if you know what I mean. That's pretty much the end of the video. It's a really easy plugin to use. I'm sure you guys get the hang of it really easy. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.